Football 1998 to 2001. Our next inductee is Andre Giraud. Andre was the fifth member now of the CU 2001 Big 12 Championship team to be inducted into the hall. Joining his head coach, Gary Barnett, assistant coach, Brian Cabral, tailback Chris Brown, and tight end Daniel Graham, who's here tonight. He excelled at both center and guard positions as he was an honorable mention all Big 12 at center as a sophomore and a first teamer at guard his junior and senior seasons. As a senior in 2001, he earned consensus first team All-America honors when he was on the watch list for both the Outland and the Lombardi trophies. As a unanimous first team all league performer that year, he was one of the reasons Colorado averaged over 200 yards, both rushing and passing for a full season for only the third time in school history. That's what you call balance right there. A two-time first team all big 12 performer as a junior and senior he earned, uh, won the John Mack Award as selected by the coaches for being CU's most outstanding offensive player his junior year. Audrey was a second round draft choice by the Dallas Cowboys in the 2002 NFL Draft, 37th player overall. He'd play in 161 NFL games with 131 starts with four teams mostly with the Cowboys from 2002 to 2010. As an all-pro performer at center with Dallas in 07, 08, 09, and in 2010. In 2020, he was selected to the Cowboys' top 60 roster of all-time players in franchises in the franchise's 60-year history. And now he can add to that resume a CU Athletic Hall of Famer, ladies and gentlemen, Andre Giraud. Uh, you have a plan until you step up here. I talked to Gary Barnett about that a few minutes ago. I'm going to figure this out, though. Give me a second. Uh, first, I just want to thank the Heavenly Father for being able to have the gift to play this game. Uh, you saw some things up there that most people don't get a chance to see, and there's a, hard, a lot of hard work that went into it. Secondly, I would like to thank my family, and my family is everyone in this section over here. So if you could stand up and give them a round of applause for please coming out to support me. I would appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, I have to thank my wife, my mother. I got to thank my family over there, my brothers. They don't think they are, but they really are. But uh, I was always asked a question, why see you? And I'll share this story with you real quick. And I also have a story by Coach Barnett we're going to get to in just a second. Uh, the first story is why see you? Um, Coach Barnett, you didn't know this at the time you came in. Rick Newhouse recruited us. You came in. So uh, you were there the day that they told you tragically my grandmother passed. And John Embry told you that in order for me to receive this information, that I had to have a group of my classmates deliver this to me. Is that not true? Okay, so the University of Colorado did something extremely special. They flew down to Houston, Texas, drove through Bryan College Station where A&M is, and they met with my grandmother and her in Texas with my uncle for six hours to ensure her that I would graduate from the University of Colorado. And then when my grandmother passed. The following year, I wound up graduating, and those coaches that left called me on the cell phone and said, we kept our promise to your grandmother. So that's why I went to the University of Colorado. Uh, so I'd like to also tell you guys a story about Coach Barnett. So Coach Barnett took myself and Michael Lewis down to media day. Uh, very, very great trip. It was a nice trip. And so we're in Dallas, Texas. We're walking around the Texas Stadium where my people are from. And we're walking on the field. And so Coach Barnett said, envision yourself playing here. I walked to the spot where Dion shook Jerry Rice's hand. Is that not true, Coach Barnett? He tried to shake his hand before he beat him for a slam. We were going through all the memories on this field. And Coach Barnett said, 
we're going to win the Big 12 championship, Andre. Can you see yourself playing here? I said, hell yeah, coach. I definitely can. I can do this shit. This is going to work. We got, we got a plan. Um, to be blessed enough to graduate from the University of Colorado um, and be drafted by the Cowboys, which is my grandmother's favorite team, words can't really explain how that feels. Uh, as I sit here tonight, proud, happy, uh, when I came here, there was no possible way I was thinking about the Hall of Fame. The only thing that I was focused on was graduating from college, getting my degree, and going on in business, in life, being a productive young man. And so that's what I focused on. But tonight, it brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> it brings me a lot of warmness in my heart. It brings me a lot of smiles, and also brings me tears at times because one of the people that, was, that we should be here to celebrate, he's not. And he was the uh, person who introduced me to football. And that would be my father. And so my father had a football team in Fifth Ward. And Coach Barnett, just to let you know, I was a mascot. My mom thought it was funny <laughs> to give me the number one half. <laughs> Didn't get a whole number. I liked it. So I had to run out, lead the team out, and I would sit on the bench, and I'm ready to play every single game. Now, mind you, I'm five. These guys are 16, but I feel like I can play this game. Like, I'm not scared at all. But I tell you guys that story because when it comes full circle, I went from a half number to a whole number. And I left the University of Colorado whole as a young man graduating from this university and representing it proudly to everybody else. So if anything that I can leave you guys with tonight is the fact that Make sure you come to college, make sure you go to class, make sure you represent the university to the best of, the, of your possibilities. And I appreciate the opportunity to be able to stand up here with all my other inductees and say, go Buffs, thank you.